guys welcome back so this is it this is look number five in my Valentine's Day series the last the final the end no more Valentine's no I'm just kidding <laughs> but yeah this is look number five you guys and honestly I'm a little shocked because I didn't really realize that there was a little bit of a purple tint in here as well so I just went ahead and ran with that when I saw that there was a shade in here that was kind of like a purple hue but yes this is the final Valentine's Day look in my series you guys I hope you like it this is for someone of course who prefers purple over pinks and reds and things like that I must say I really like how this look came out I had no idea what I was going to do for my fifth and final look so I was pleasantly surprised to see that this palette did this <laughs> but just in case you're new and you don't know what I'm talking about and you're like what is she talking about I decided that I wanted to do a series of Valentine's Day looks this year for you guys a total of five looks and I wanted to just use one palette so the palette that I chose for this series is the BH Cosmetics Glam Reflection L'Amour palette <laughs> I don't know if that sounded right BH Cosmetics Glam Reflection L'Amour palette so it is this gorgeous rosy tone palette this is what it looks like on the inside like you guys haven't seen this <laughs> enough over the past week but I was very shocked because this shade right here took this look to a whole lavender purple, you know, just whole nother realm. So I really focused on using this in the black and I did go ahead and play around with this shade as well in my crease area. So I hope you guys like this look. Now I did say that I wanted to go ahead and just talk a little bit about this palette in this video because since I have been using it all week I'm pretty familiar with how I feel about it I like this palette you guys I really do in the very first Valentine's Day look I would say this white is extremely pigmented to be a matte white shade it's very pigmented but I did notice by the time I washed my makeup off that evening before I went to bed the white did fade a bit so if you're going to use that white I would say put down like a bright concealer shade or even a white base before you use that you know wherever you're going to use that just put down a white base before you put that down because although it is extremely pigmented it will fade over time now these two blacks here are very nicely pigmented I like the fact that even though they're nicely pigmented they're not overwhelming it's not like when you put it on you just have this instant blackout you know they're very buildable and they blend out very nicely so they're perfect for smoking out your outer corners this one has a little bit of glitter in it and I did use that when I did the all black smoky look with the red glitter I did use that on my lid and as you saw it wasn't like extremely glittery I do think there is a bit of overspray in here even though I can still see the black glitter it doesn't really show up much when you use it These beautiful reds and burgundies I would say they're more burgundy than red because I couldn't as hard as I tried I couldn't just get a red look out of this palette so I definitely would say more burgundy pink tone mattes that are up here in this corner are just gorgeous I love them they're beautiful nicely pigmented and they blend out very very well together and on your upper lid and your crease it's just you can really create a beautiful look with ease the shimmer shades I would definitely say that they're very pretty they're not super duper bright though you know you can wet it lay it down you'll get a nice shimmer a beautiful pop but it's not that bright bold shimmery look that you would hope for from a shimmer shadow um, out of this palette it's not that it's a nice beautiful shimmer shade but it doesn't have that you know you can see it from heaven type of shimmer but for the price it's a very beautiful shimmer I do have this this gray silver type shimmer shadow here I do have that on my lid today for this semi <laughs> halo look 
and it does have a little bit of pink over it so it's not super duper bright silver but that's what I do have there and I really really like it so I would just say overall I think this palette is amazing <laughs> for the price I believe right now actually it's on sale at BH Cosmetics for nine bucks I think it's normally sixteen dollars so yeah last time I looked it was nine bucks which is a great deal for this palette I would say it's very versatile and eh, at first I was kind of upset irritated <laughs> a little bit bored and like why did I pick this palette I should have picked a different palette but I'm actually glad I did because I definitely wouldn't have worked this palette the way that I did for these looks had I not picked it. So those are my overall thoughts on this BH Cosmetics L'Amour palette. I think that I did really have fun creating these five looks for you guys for Valentine's Day. I hope that they were different enough and creative enough for you guys to enjoy this series. And I don't know, I might try and do it again next year. I don't know, don't hold me to it, okay? <laughs> if so, I'm gonna pick like a 39 pan palette <laughs> to choose from. So if you've been watching all of the videos from my Valentine's Day series, I just wanna say thank you. I really appreciate you guys. I love all of the love and support and the wonderful comments. You guys are so funny and you guys are so encouraging. You know, at times when I'm just like, oh, what am I gonna film today? I don't know. I just know that you guys are out there watching and supporting and showing so much love and I really appreciate it. I really do because it's crazy that I can film videos, put them up on YouTube, and people actually wanna sit and watch me <laughs> talk to a camera and put on makeup. That still amazes me. So I just wanna tell you guys, thank you so much. I really appreciate you all. And if you'd like to see how I created this look, the last Valentine's Day look for me this year, <laughs> stay tuned because it's coming up next.